What's up, YouTube? Pokeboy Boy here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the PS4 jailbreak tutorial for version 4.05. As many of you guys know, only 1.76 was able to be jailbroken in the past, but as of late, there has been a uh, a new, very popular, and very public exploit on version 4.05. So I'm going to jump right in, and hopefully, I'm going to be able to make this as easy for you guys as possible. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is in very early stages so there's probably going to be a lot of different ways um, to do this and a lot of new developments in the coming days so I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to run the kernel exploit and to inject a few simple payloads and well to basically unlock your debug settings and have your system jailbroken so let's hop right into it alright so there's going to be two programs we need to have on our computer the first is going to be Python, the most current version, which is 3.64, and Al Ziff's, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, man, uh, your, is PS4 Exploit Host Tool. I have the link to both of these in the description. Um, you're going to want to pick the latest release. Right now, at the time I'm making this video, is 3.8.3. Um, so we're going to download both of these right now. I'm actually going to show you me downloading them. And you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to put mine in a PS4 folder for jailbreak mods. I like keeping my stuff organized. So we're going to load up Python and run that. Make sure you add Python 3.6 to path. That is the most important part. After that, you can just go right to install now. Don't need to do a custom installation. Everything should be all right. We're going to allow it to make changes to our computer and let that install. In the meantime, we're going to go to this and we're going to download PS4 Exploit Host. Now that downloads. We're going to put that in our jailbreak mods right here and save that. Now we're going to go to our folder here and we're just going to ex or extract here. We're going to delete that extra zip file. So now we have this folder which has everything that we're going to need. So um, Right now, actually, we do not have any payloads. We're going to put those here. I'm going to include two payloads in the description that you can download. They are the full debug settings and the unlock your web browser. So and without activation, you can use web browser. Otherwise, um, you would have to get around that by going to user tutorials. And once we're running the exploit, you can't do that at the time. So we're going to go back here, and it looks like this is done. So we're just going to close here, and now we're going to go to our PS4. On our PS4 now, we're just going to go ahead and check quick and make sure that we are indeed on software version 4.05. So we're going to go down to our settings, system, system information, and there we go, 4.05. So now we're going to be ready to go back to our PC and open up the program. Very quickly now, before we open up the program, we're going to go to our full debug settings and enable web browser bin files which are in the payload section of the download and we're going to drag them into payloads in PS4 exploit host now that we have them here we can go back to the main folder and we can double click start.py we now have the file or the program open I'm now going to come back after showing a dual display of this and the PS4 for the next step We've now got both the exploit host running and our system at the same time on screen. Um, now one more thing before we continue, uh, we should also disable automatic downloads if you have not already, just in case your system somehow does connect, be, like if you were connected before setting up the exploit and you don't want to have to worry about accidentally installing the recent update or whatever the current update is, just uncheck all these. Safe move, it's a one-time thing. You do it once and you'll never have to worry about it again. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back and we're going to go to our network settings. Now as you can see, it tells us what our DNS server is in the program and we're going to adjust ac according to that. You can use Wi-Fi or a, uh, an LAN cable, LAN, uh, Ethernet cable, so I'm going to use that. But now when we go to DNS settings, we're going to go to manual and set our primary DNS so that it matches the one that we were given by the server. Notice it says that my DNS is 10.0.31. Uh, now I have my primary DNS set to the same thing. 
So you do the same to whatever it gives you. Yours is always going to be different than mine. Um, after that, we're going to go to Next, Automatic, Do Not Use, and we're going to test Internet Connection. Now, both of these should be a success. If you have any further things on your screen, they should both they should all fail. These are the only two things we need. Now we're going to go back, back again, and we're going to go up to the user's guide. Now once we select this, it should redirect us to the exploit page. And here we can actually choose which exploit we would like to host. So I'm going to pick Spectre. We now have Spectre's page up. And now we are pretty much jailbroken and we can just select which payload we'd like to send. So the first one I'm going to actually send is 3. So because we want full debug settings, you just select the corresponding number, 3 in this example. So we type in 3 and hit enter. So the payload has been sent. And while we're at it, we might as well send the web browser payload. So we're going to just type Y and enter. So now which payload do we select? Two, as enable web browser is there. So we hit enter. Sorry about that, my system actually froze in the middle of that next part. So that's not even an issue, we just restart the system, load everything back up, go to our user's guide, wait for the exploit to load. We're going to select Spectre again. IDC, his is not always the most stable. My system often runs out of memory. Um, th that may not be a problem with the stability of it, that could be just a problem in my system. Um, so here we're just going to do full debug settings and I'm going to show you guys a quick glimpse of that. So we enter that. Payload has been sent. Now on the PS4, I'm actually going to close this. So now on the PS4 we're going to go back, back again, exit completely out of there. We go all the way down to our settings and boom, debug settings. A lot of people at this point consider that this is the jailbreak here once you have access to your debug settings. Um, really it was the moment we were able to connect and break through with the kernel. Um, major props to Spectre and Phil Overflow team for what they were able to do. Um, I'd like to give props to Alazif for his tool. Uh, makes it a lot easier than some of the other ways. There's a lot more programs people have to use. I hope this was easy for you guys. I hope you could understand it. Um, if you have any trouble with anything at all, just let me know and I would be happy to help you in the description, or sorry, in the comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any issues at all. I would love to help. Uh, even on my video from over a year ago, well, not over a year ago, about a year ago on the, my PS3 jailbreak, I'm still responding to people, helping them out there. Let me know if you need any help, guys, and I will see you guys later.